I mean, hackers are people, and people can sometimes do very bad things. Estonian state internet providers have been bombarded by a wave of virtual attacks. Bias. Hackers defaced government web pages with violent messages. But I don't think that hackers are any more dangerous than the average people. They rent a car, we put a logo of Google, and then we went out to the city and do whatever the fuck we wanted. Because if you're Google, you do whatever the fuck you want. We're not afraid of popular culture, basically. We are like uh, totally fine with making um, resistance to power structure mainstream. Protesting against this new document, uh, the ACTA as it's known, the Anti-Counterfeit Trade Agreement, which was signed today by Poland and uh, uh, 26 other countries of the European Union. Uh, the people who are protesting, they were holding banners down with the censorship. And technology, instead of improving our lives, is in fact making it worse. So it's really important to me to really think about how these systems actually work, not just theoretically, and really making sure that when they are deployed, that the thing that matters most is preserving autonomy, increasing people's personal privacy, increasing their security, and, if possible, increasing institutional transparency. So when you see Anonymous and they do a uh, denial of service attack or they go out and you know, do different things which you consider cybercrime, it's because they have a big issue with something. It's like young people going out protesting on the streets. A denial of service attack is possible for them to do. It actually affects you know, the thing they want to change. Furious that Mastercard had begun refusing to process cash donations intended for WikiLeaks, on Wednesday, angry internet activists launched a massive cyber assault on the company, disabling its website. The only way to actually get impact on some of these governments and corporations will be by using some sort of illegal method of demonstrating or protesting. The help I got from uh, the community of hackers, uh, especially from the Arab community of hackers. So our friends outside helped us, uh, for example, uh, with um, uploading the videos sometimes when uh, you can do it from where you are or provided uh, resources like servers or whatever to do that. It would never have been a, a national movement without the internet. Lately, we've seen an unprecedented amount of political hacks and hacker activism. But where does all this politics come from? And when did hacking turn into politics? To give answers to these questions, we plan to do a road trip to the five continents to visit hackerspaces, hackers, makers and hacktivists, and hear them explain the culture and the hacker ethics. We want to meet hackers in Africa that helped topple the dictatorships in the Arab Spring. We want to meet the hackerspaces that are using open hardware and software to create better technology that everyone can have access to. And we want to meet the people that are working against the Big Brother society that some governments seem to want to put in place. In the last couple of years, there's been a huge battle over the soul of the internet. Legislation like SOPA, PIPA and ACTA have met heavy resistance from internet activists and hackers all over the world. We want to find out if the hackers are winning the battle to keep technology and the internet free. We're making this film together with Makt, a Swedish hacker. Together with him and the people we meet, we hope to give you a film where the story is told by the hackers themselves. De pengarna som vi får in kommer gå till att vi ska kunna besöka människor runt om i världen och få träffa dem och följa deras vardag och låta dem få berätta vad, vad de har för projekt och hur de tänker och resonerar. Det skrivs mycket om hacking, men det skrivs inte så mycket om personerna bakom. This is a story connected to the internet and we hope it will be funded by the internet. So if you like this project Become a part of it. Hackytat.com <laughs>
Silvesterslampa. 